So Emily is one of my members in my, in the uh, Inclusion Creators Collective, and I really wanted to just focus on um, M and the stuff that she's doing in her business, of what her business is, and just all the amazingness of, of that and how inclusion and diversity has helped her through her business or has impacted her business in some way. So hello, M. thank you so much hello. for being with me. Oh, my absolute pleasure, Louise. You've just been such a huge part of my business and my learning. So yeah, anything I can do for you, I'm here. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Okay, well, first thing I wanna do is Let's tell, tell us a little bit more about the Modern Marketing Collective. It's, it's a membership yeah. that I'm part of and I love it. So good. Thank you so much, Louise. Well, this is my program. I've had it for about three years now, and it's where I really teach, um, especially service-based business owners, how to get more clients at the end of the day. And we do this through marketing. So learning how to grow your audience, build more engagement and inquiries, and ultimately move people to working with you. And apart from the curriculum, we also have, I've actually just put in there, Louise, you might've seen it, a brand new um, initial training for everyone that joins. That's a 2K challenge to just to help people yes. get that momentum. Yes. If it's their first couple of thousand dollars in business or their next couple of thousand, just strip it back, simplify it, get really great wins. And then we have the coaching and the amazing community as well. So yeah, it's a, it's a 12 month program and it's just, I, I love it. I love that I get to do that. And I just love seeing our students in there really challenging themselves, getting outside their comfort zone and growing their business. Mm -hmm. And you know, what I love about how you do it is you really simplify it. You don't make it this really complex way of having to do business or making people think that they have to be all these different things to be able to be mm -hmm. successful in business and just know, actually, these are the, the simple things you need to do. Yeah. So let's, and you walk people through every single step of that, which is really, really such a beautiful thing um, to be part of and watch. And your community in that space is such a beautiful, warm, mm -hmm. loving community as well. But not only that, that's not o the only reason why I love mm -hmm. your your uh, program. It's also your intention behind it. Mm -hmm. You have such a beautiful intention behind the marketing process and how mm -hmm. to actually show up in your business which is more than just being a business. It's not about yeah. making the money. It's so much about the connection. Share, yeah. share with us your your your, um, you know, your <laughs> slogan, the thing that you, you tell everyone. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I, I don't even remember where it came from, but it's connection over perfection. And I must have said it one day and then my members and, and students kind of latched onto it. And now it, it is really kind of the, the phrase that I go by and often my students will say, you know what, this was, I didn't, I, I felt like I couldn't do this or I was starting to procrastinate. And then I just thought connection over perfection. And really what we mean by that is just letting go of any ideals around what we should be, how we should come across and, and like letting go of trying to get that last 5% or so absolutely perfect and just getting things out there, showing up as us and knowing that the most important thing and the most powerful thing for our business, especially as small business owners, is building that sense of connection, authenticity, trust with our audience and letting go of having to have everything perfectly curated or trying to be someone that they're not. And I know that I had to learn that myself and uh, it served me well. And I could just see the, the, the mindset shift that it helps other people have too. So, so beautiful. So I do have a question. I have, I have a line of a question for oh, you yeah. actually. <laughs> so the very first question for you is how has inclusion impacted you and your business? Mm. Mm. Gosh, Louise, I just, I have just learnt and continuing always uh, through you to learn so much. I think initially I feel as though I suddenly, I suddenly realised how little I knew and that was very uncomfortable and I, I was very worried about, I have a responsibility here for my community, I have a platform, I have an audience. And yeah, that comes with the responsibility to do no harm. And one of my core values is inclusion. And so really taking that responsibility to make sure that I am educating myself, I am learning and the program and working with you has just been so, so amazing for that. Um, in terms of the impact that it's had, I have, I have more, I would say, um, more diverse, people walk from diverse backgrounds and cultures, leaning into my business and noting and telling me that they do feel more seen 
And also that a reason that they've chosen to work with me is that I've acknowledged in, in various different ways uh, that I have ridiculous privilege and, uh, and that we, we all have different, uh, different backgrounds and that type of thing. And uh, yeah, I would say that people hopefully just feeling more comfortable and that they will be safe and looked after and seen and appreciated and respected and valued in my space. I, um, I put on a live event and I brought in an amazing, amazing uh, Indigenous woman who ran a, um, Acknowledgement of Country. And just to have that at my live event was really, really powerful, I think, to to have that ripple effect, which is something you talk about, Louise, as well, have that ripple effect with my own community. And I've seen um, some shifts with them as well in terms of their own awareness and, and intrigue and learning. And I would say as well that just making, I've, I've made a lot of shifts and so we can talk about those, some very, very small, um, just through the way that I am marketing my business, the language, the, um, the imagery and that type of thing that just before I had no... Um, really awareness of and now I just I feel like I'm I'm hopefully a lot more thoughtful and considerate and always exploring and curious and looking at other things that I have to unlearn and learn new things too. Yeah. Yeah. So wow that's that's really huge. I mean yeah. if you're if you're already seeing those ripple effects happening with those yeah. you know, people around you that's amazing and i will have a little bit of a question about that in it's the next question so you must be in tune with what's uh, going on uh, <laughs> what had you done in business to be more inclusive mm. and what other ripples created so you already talked about having um the acknowledgement done uh yeah. and how that's rippled out and mm. what what is it that you've done in your community um in a different in different ways mm. to make people come to you and say well how it, it actually makes me feel a bit safer in this space or it makes me feel a little bit more seen in yeah. this space. Yeah. So I've done, um, in, in various podcast episodes, um, I have spoken around that me being able to create my business and have various opportunities have been because of the privilege that I have, the upbringing that I have, the opportunities that I've been given. And recognizing that not everyone has those, I've been very, very lucky. Um, and recognizing as well that I'm straight, I'm white, um, I speak English, and these are all things that can just make, I, I think life can be easier and we can be given um, more opportunities potentially for these things. And really acknowledging that, and I, I think it can be a little, a little harmful to almost speak to my audience as though we all are on an equal playing field because there are different biases that come in. There are different um, different ways that different groups are discriminated. And if I was to, I guess, take on the kind of language that if you want something, you can you can have it. And I don't know, just different things that I really think about now, and I I, I kind of do try and communicate that I realize it's not that easy for some people depending on the way they are perhaps categorized or treated or um, discriminated in society. Um, so in terms of that, some different things that I have done is, is I think first of all, just trying to acknowledge through my platforms, through my website, my social media, my podcasts, um, some of these things. Also as well, looking at the language that I use. And one of the first things I did was remove the word tribe from my marketing. I had a module which had that word in it. I had it in my podcast and I kind of realized, oh my gosh, that is, it can be not a very nice word to use and it's it's someone else's culture um, as well to use that word. So that was one thing. Um, also as well, looking at gendered terms um, and looking at the way that I address my community and I, I've shifted and I let my community know from using very gendered um, greetings such as ladies or i didn't really use girls but that kind of thing and just thinking how can i be more inclusive of everyone here and using phrases like language uh, sorry like team or everyone um, and that type of thing and i shared that in my group and then to have other people um really pick up on that and and use that themselves and comment how that they really appreciated that that was really awesome 
Um, what else? And also, I think even just through even emojis, Louise, I always used to use emojis that were white um, skin color and realizing that I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't think I want to do that anymore. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. Also looking at actually like who is in my community? What representation do we have and how can I really invite people from more different backgrounds, races in um, and look at the imagery that I'm using, the language that I'm using um, as well. So there's a few things. Um, yeah, and also as well, actually thinking about, um, I guess in the marketing space, different celebrations and days that can be really specific to certain religions or for instance, Australia Day, which can be a really problematic or is a really problematic day. And just looking at, okay, how am I marketing my business around these times? How am I speaking about these times to my audience and also in my community? For instance, with, um, I do a 12 month content calendar. So even looking at, well, what representation do I have in there with the different religious holidays? So yeah, those are a few things and there's so much more Louise, as, as yeah. you know, but yeah, just, just a few things I've, I've started with. Yeah. And what I love, what I love about you is that you go and you do the learnings. You really, really deeply listen. You, you, uh, work it through yourself. You become aware of you and how you're participating in it and you make a decision and then once you've made the decision to make some changes you actually go and do them you're a real action taker and um even though sometimes it might feel really uncomfortable for you to do it you're not sure how your community is going to react to it you still do it and mm. i am i admire that in you so much that you are there willing to be someone who speaks through the noise of all conformity and goes you know what this is actually not okay and i'm not mm -hmm. okay with this thing and mm -hmm. you're such a leader absolutely such a leader in mm -hmm. that space and going um and not being an not not admitting or proclaiming yeah. to be an expert in any way yes. you're like i'm totally here learning and yeah. please let me share my learnings with you and this is something i have learned and so because yes. of this learning i'm now changing my business so I absolutely I love and adore that about you. Thank you, Louise. And also you've really like, oh my gosh, so, so helpful for me and so powerful to learn how to communicate in, in these things. And I remember before I started working with you, I, I had learned something and I think you did kind of describe it as just like dropping a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and I basically did that. I'm like, this is, this is, this is what I believe or whatever. And then I learned through you just a, like really a better way to communicate and to bring people on the journey with you. Like you said to, I'm not, I'm not the expert I'm learning, but these things matter to me. And so you've really helped me understand and practice how I can communicate um, my values in a really, um, gentle way which i know is the language that you use and i really really adore that um that helps my community i guess feel curious and not feel a sense of what would you say like i don't know what the opposite is like really like um caught off guard or really offended or i don't know just looking at i can share what i've learned what matters to me yeah confronting to them and maybe it is and that's totally okay and i've kind of become willing and and um yeah, almost become willing that people are not going to like me and I'm okay with that, which has been very, very scary in the past. But knowing that I really believe in what I believe and I do want to make a difference through my work. And and uh, you've also really helped me, Louise, in terms of really identifying what my values are in business. That was some work we did together and that's been, again, just so powerful and such a huge part of business once you understand these. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So my next question for you is, what made you decide to join the Inclusion Creators Collective? Oh, it was just a no-brainer for me. Um, we had done, I think I, <laughs> as it should be for everyone. Um, we did, I think I did your Acknowledgement of Country workshop and then a course with you. And I just, I really uh, get so much out of every minute uh, that I am learning from you and in discussion with you. And sometimes you challenge me, which is great. And, uh, and yeah, I just thought if I can have this ongoing every month to have some learnings, to be in that 
to be in that space of learning and action, it's just that matters to me, that matters to the business that I want to build. Um, and it's just, yeah, it was just a no brainer. You're amazing. Thank you so much. That's you know, it's always a it's always a little bit awkward to ask people what they think of your own, your, your business. Um, but when people say beautiful things like that, I can just feel my heart just get so massive. It's like, oh my gosh, I think it's gonna pop. <laughs> Honestly, um, yeah, I just have I just so just have learned so much, continuing to learn so much. You've made me better as a leader, absolutely, and my business better. And um, yeah, it's really just the start. So I've got I've got a long way to go, but thank you so much, Louise, for just doing the work that you do and being um, so supportive in the way that you do it as well. Okay, now this might carry on a little bit from what you've just said. What has been your experience like in the Inclusion Creates Collective? Mm. Oh, it's been really, really powerful to have the way that you've structured it, Louise, to have the learnings, to have that community and other people that are doing the work as well and just learning and listening and sharing and having that discussions with them, to have the opportunities to bring what I'm, I'm uh, trying to understand or work through or comprehend or implement and to be able to bring those to you on that regular basis has been so brilliant and everyone else in the group is just so supportive as well. Yeah, so much value. Yeah, yeah. Aren't they beautiful? All the members are so beautiful in there. Mm, absolutely. Okay, okay. Last question I have for you. What would you say to anyone mm. considering joining the Inclusion Creators Collective? Yeah. So I think that if you if you've got anything out of Louise's work through her social media like oh my gosh Louise you're amazing at, at all your content you know if anyone's got anything out of it and has resonated with it in the way that you teach then you're just going to get so much out of the collective and it's an absolute bargain as well in terms of what you pay versus what you will get out of it what it will do for you as a leader and for your business uh yeah so if if, if you're feeling called to do it take that take that leap and uh yeah you'll love it Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for um, you know, doing this with me, for chatting with me, for sharing a little bit more about you, your amazing program too. If you, like I said to everyone, I'm I'm in the program. It's amazing. So if you, if you want to um, get support with your marketing and making sure it's connection over perfection, yeah. <laughs> um, please go and check Emily out. And that is at the Modern Marketing Collective. Thank you so much, Em, um, for your time. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I will say goodbye for now. Thank you, Louise. Bye, everyone.